Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Cordant. We are going to continue our playthrough of Rogue Trader. We are inside the Electrodynamic Cenobium. We have found some stuff here to explore. Uh, one such thing is this door over here and then this lightning path, which I'm kind of afraid to go into. Oh, cutscene already? I'm not satisfied with that. Heinrichs! Answer. I will repeat my question again. The last Electro Priest you killed, where did you find him? Burn in the fire of dawn! Servant of the gods! And another one meets the limit of his utility. The last of them. Oh, he's a psyker, right? Heinrichs. The tall, dark-haired man sizes you up with a quick glance. A supernatural chill is making the air around him crackle softly. The expensive fabric of his jacket is stitched with gold thread and marked by several reddish-brown stains. A forged sword and a vox hang from his belt, and the emblem of the Holy Inquisition glitters on his chest. Awesome. <laughs> Interrogator Van Kellox, I presume? Yes. <clears throat> Since you know who I am, and are in no hurry to kill me, I infer that you serve the Emperor, not his enemies. Allow me to introduce myself. Interrogator Heinrichs van Kallox of the Imperial Inquisition's esteemed Ordo Xenos. With whom do I have the pleasure of speaking? Shadow. A great big sun eclipsing chain weaving shadow. I can see the threads, myriads of them extending toward us all, and all of them creeping off toward him like snakes, shrouding us in poison. My oh my, do I sense trouble, and it's right in my throat. It itches. A puff of black smoke comes out of the psyker's mouth and dissipates at once. A psyker? Interesting. And a diviner at that. Even more interesting. Are you sanctioned? D -d -d Don't you inquisition me! I'm under the rogue trader's protection! Idiot looks at you pleadingly. <laughs> Idiot's predictions are seldom wrong. I will be watching you. And I will be watching you. Now that we have declared our intent, let me ask again, who are you? Rogue trader Cordon von Valencius. Von Valencius? To the best of my knowledge, that dynasty is headed by the esteemed Theodora von Valencius. Has there been a change of circumstances? Heinrichs watches your expression closely. Theodora is dead, slain in battle by enemies of humanity. The news is lamentable. My condolences. And I presume the heir to the sacred warrant of trade and the lofty title of rogue trader is none other than yourself. Well then, what precisely has brought you to the sanctum of the Omnissiah? Well, before we tell him I came here to collect him, what did you do to him? I convinced him to cooperate. <sighs> I can influence living bodies, and I find that the interrogated are much more eager to share information once the blood starts to boil in their veins. Definitely a psyker. Well, I am here to collect you. I am under orders from the Lord Inquisitor to offer any assistance you may require, after which I am to provide you safe passage to footfall aboard my ship. <laughs> then the timing of our meeting is fortuitous. I am requisitioning you and your retinue for my task. Mm. Requisitioning? <laughs> Young man, your choice of words is unseemly to the point of insult. You are addressing a rogue trader. <laughs> I don't imagine you'll be any happier if I say taking into inquisitorial custody. Do they outrank me? I think they do, right? We read at the start of the game that the rogue trader was... The only people above the road trader were the Emperor and the Holy Inquisition, I believe. To aid. 
lead his faithful servant in the fight against corruption is the solemn duty of all whose actions affect millions of the Imperium subjects. Let your example guide those who will carry the Emperor's light across a thousand stars. You are familiar with the works of Inquisitor Alastar the Redeemer? Not every acolyte can say the same, let alone people less initiated. Please forgive my lapse in manners, Lady Navigator Orcelio. It is a great honor. Man, they all know each other in such a large universe. <laughs> I came to Rykad Minoris on a mission, which a rebellion prevented me from fulfilling. The governor is convinced that malcontents from among the rabble were the instigators, but I immediately suspected a more sinister presence at the root of the mutiny. My visit to the monastery and a few unhurried conversations with some of the rebels confirm my suspicions okay I, I need to read this again sorry a rebellion prevented him mm hmm the rabble sinister presence ah okay someone by the name of Aurora is leading the rebellion data indicates that the head of the cultists is here right now in the Ooh. sanctum of the ancient reactor given the prophecy of the final dawn and the special efforts made by the enemies of humanity to seize the monastery their goal is to gain access to the Holy Power Source's control circuit and trigger a process that, once started, cannot be stopped. In other words, to detonate the reactor, thus being themselves the cause of their much-touted final dawn. Hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So they want to gain access to the Holy Power Source's control circuit and trigger a process that one circuit cannot be stopped. In other words, that might react to this being... Uh, okay. <clears throat> Blasphemous insanity. The tech priest's visor flashes and turns a bloody scarlet. A soft hum of some activ activating systems is heard from under his robe. Precisely what were you doing at the monastery? I arrived here with an escort squad, only to lose it in our very first open skirmish. The monastery is swarming with heretics. The soldiers I requisitioned from the governor fell in battle, bled to death, or deserted. I had to make do with catching and forcefully interrogating individual rebels. It is from them that I learned what I relate to you just now. Okay, I can help you with our order. Let's join forces. Thank you. Regrettably, the governor's people showed themselves to be unprepared for the perils of this place. <sighs> And extracting blade shards from a person's stomach is beyond my powers. I hope that a rogue trader's retinue will prove more capable than a group of soldiers fresh off the base. I am positive that not all of the Electro Priests within these walls have perished. The heretics spoke of shadows emerging from side alleys to make short work of the cultists invading their abode. I surmise that the entrance to their hiding place is somewhere in the hall near a machine known as the Circular Cogitator. I imagine it's one of the local sacred relics which the Electro Priests treat with special piety. Things are getting interesting. Now, <clears throat> I apparently don't even have a choice. I really do need to kick somebody out. Uh, I was actually thinking about taking out Pascal. I don't really want to lose anybody in my party at this point in time. Man, taking out Cassia hurts, but it might actually be the better choice. Okay, we'll go like this and then we'll see. Okay, so who are you, my friend? This guy comes to us at level 4. He has a 4 sword. 7 to 11 damage, 25% armor penetration, strike, cleave, and psychic force. It deals an additional psi rating damage, which right now is nothing. And what does this do exactly? Do require inquisitorial <clears throat> approval. A special attack that counts as a major psychic power. It deals an additional 2 times psi rating plus willpower bonus damage, but may trigger psychic phenomena or perils of the warp. It's not even that major, but hit chance 100%. I'm not sure if that's something relevant. He is apparently a warrior. Yeah, he's a warrior biomancer. And he has word of... Okay. Well, let's investigate. 
He is dogmatic, makes sense based on him being part of the Inquisition. He is a warrior, like I said, and biomancy. Mm -hmm. He is of the Imperial world. But what is this? A concentration of faith, sanctic powers are used by pious psychers to protect allies and smite heretics. I, is it unique to him? So, word of the Emperor. All allies in the circle with, with the 5 cell radius gain plus 1 resolve until the end of combat. Every additional stack of this effect increases the resolve bonus by plus 2. Okay. This is like a, an officer ability, I believe. Or, or, or am I wrong? Biomancer? And, no, no, I think it's another psychic thing. Well, let, let's find out. I'm not sure. So... He is a warrior, he has Endure, he has the usual thingy. Defensive maneuvers, when he takes damage they gain dodge. So he has weapon skill, he has some strength, his toughness is kind of low, so he, he will be more on the offensive side of things, I believe. He seems rather weak to be in the front line, however, which is kind of disconcerting. I could just go for Psyker stuff. Yeah, he also has healing, which is quite nice. But again, I imagine I would make him a little bit more offensive based on his warrior archetype. Uh, ah. I know that at level 10 I'm going to give him this, that's for sure. <clears throat> okay, so I think I'm going to give him some defenses at least. Try and make him a little bit better, so thick skin. And... I guess I can give him toughness just to round this out up to a 40. Yeah, but now there's a lot of stuff here. We could go for something like Sworn Enemy, sure, that's always useful. Purge Soul. Deals 1 plus Psyker Psy rating plus 1 times Resolve divided by 4. <laughs> it's so complicated, man. Damage is increased against Xenos, uh, against Chaos Worshippers or Drukari. Daemons, and by 50% if it's already been damaged by the Psyker, blah, blah, blah. <clears throat> Doesn't seem very interesting. What else does he have? Shield of the Emperor. Until the start of the Psyker's next turn, all allies affected by Word of the Emperor increase their deflection by... Oh! By Psyker's Psy rating divided by 2, minimum 1, and armor by 10 plus 2 times the allies resolve. That's interesting. I could give him div divination. Yeah, so he has biomancy and sanctic powers, that's right. I could give him invigorate. <laughs> Enfeeble. Until the end of combat, all targets within the area suffer a penalty to strength and agility and take more damage from everything. There are just so many good choices, honestly. I think I will go for this one. Give everybody <clears throat> some deflection. I think could be handy. Or is it not the best choice here? Enfeeble is not bad. But again, the incoming damage increase is so low. I think things that scale with Psy rating really are better taken later on. And his willpower is also kind of weak. This character is, is a little bit strange to me. He wants to be a warrior and a psyker and it confuses me a little bit. Okay, I'm, I'll, I'll take this. Like I said, when I have some more time, like the weekend or so, something like that, I will think about them and maybe respec a couple. Um, <clears throat> so what would I want out of you? Like, uh, I have people for this. Uh, coercion? Sure. So I gave him a plus 5, even though it doesn't show here. 
Uh, I'm gonna round out his willpower as well <clears throat> for an extra bonus here. Moving on to common talents. I think I'm gonna use something from the Psyker side of things. When the Psyker's allies or the Psyker themselves are under the effects of the Psychic Powers, they gain plus 5 toughness for each such effect, pulse of life. When they heal themselves, blah blah, blah blah, no no. This is always nice. So, might be this one. Obscure Threat. Having Threat Combined, I don't know. Second Sight, Psychic Barrage. Oh, Force Weapon Attacks deal plus 1, plus Psy Rating more damage and have plus 5, plus 5 times Psy Rating more armor penetration. This could be useful if he's using Power Weapons. The Psyker's Resolve is increased by Willpower Bonus divided by 2. Ah, oh, okay. Okay, I guess I can go for Poison. Poison is always useful. Medicaid might come in handy. So this guy has thick skin. Hardened scars would also be a very nice defensive thing to give him. Okay, so I think I will go for that. Daring Breach. Until the end of combat. Um, for one round, the warrior becomes a priority target of enemy. This turn. I don't want him to become the priority target because he's kind of... Oh, but right. He gains 20% parry and 2 deflection until the end of combat. Okay, this is actually quite useful. Another one. Which one would I like here? He also has some agility, so it's not completely wasted on him thinking about agility. Impetus, living shield, ramming speed, increasing charge distance is always nice. Or maybe rigorous training. Charge does not end the warrior's movement. What does this do? If he has not attacked this turn, he gains armor. Charge and slash do not affect this bonus. Mm hmm. Okay, we're gonna go for rigorous training. It seems handy. Let's give him some more strength in case I wanna give him something like heavy armor. It requires 45 strength. <clears throat> Another ability here. Why is this locked? Ah, okay, requires Psy rating. Three. <laughs> Jesus. Okay, so if I give you Invigorate, it's not bad. Enfeeble is also nice. Having another source of heal would be cool. <clears throat> it's based on willpower. I'll still go for the Invigorate. And I think I can get Psy Rating now. Yep. There we go. Let's give him, I imagine, some weapon skill. And... You can get some more Karaos. Okay. Kind of a quick and dirty level up, but I think it will serve me for now. I don't imagine I will want this guy in my party too much. I don't really like him. Maybe I just don't know how to use him, but it seems to me that okay. my at least my issue with him is that he wants to be a lot of things at the same time. 
I wouldn't say it's impossible. I imagine you can do a very competent uh, melee psyker. I really do. But based on what he has, it, it feels weird to me. But again, respec exists, so we might explore that. Now, what else does this guy have? He has an auto pistol. We can swap this right now. Uh, improved auto pistol, sure. He can't use flamers. He can use shotguns. Improved armored body glove is better than what he has. No. Three to logic. What are you using? Ah, right. Okay. So I guess you can take that. Even though you're not going to use it, but you can take that. And that's really all that I want to... Oh, I could give him a psychic stuff. Oh, wait, he has something already. A Biomancer staff. The wielder of this staff, power level 6, gains the Siphon Life ability. The ability is also available in sort of heroic and desperate measure versions. Power level affects the damage and healing of this... Po healing? Wait. No. The Psyker drains life from the target, dealing Psyker staff power times 1 plus Psy rating. Damage and healing the Psyker for Psyker staff power level wounds. God, the wording is so strange. So you do a little lot of damage, but then you heal yourself for 6 wounds. It's kind of pitiful. If he is already at full wounds, this power instead heals the wounded Psyker's ally. Oh, the wounded Psyker's ally. With the lowest wounds. This could be interesting, but the damage doesn't scale that well. So if I think of Idira, it would deal 6 times 3, 18. 18 damage is not very much. Yeah, this, this seems a little bit underwhelming, but we'll see. Uh, the hard, uncomfortable, soft... Somno meditation bed is equipped with neural ports to connect the sleeper to the monastery's cogitator network. A new challenge for me. Okay. Oh, and before I forget. Uh, no, my friend, you are not in the front. <laughs> but I guess we can do something like this. But uh, don't reset. Okay. We have a logic thingy here. The wayward machine spirit refuses to obey you. Machine right set. Wait. So, access received, but... What? Okay, I'm... A little bit confused as to what this is telling me. Access received but refuses weakness. to do stuff. Okay. Whatever. So, uh, I think we have to go here, but this doesn't seem safe at all. And this has a tech... Can I, can I disable this? So, tech use... Let me quick save before I burn myself here. Okay, so we got it. It would appear the Electro Priests damaged the motive force circuits on purpose to turn them into a trap for the intruders. Alright. Take a knee and like, bow before me. Christ I've been there. ambushed. There were people here? Oh man, this and this guy's in the front. Okay, well. If he's in the front, he's in the front. Not much I can do. Can't give him that. Um, let me see if I can actually... I will just buff him because he's in the front. I can't do. So, Edita, play. Was Take one buff. Was that you? Or Take two buffs. We'll do. 
take some bonus wounds. There you go. Now you can pass. Uh, you can move into some kind of cover. Is this cover? It doesn't show. But if this is cover, this should be cover, right? Or actually just go over here. Uh, I, I pressed space. Oh, no. This bug was supposed to be fixed. I think I'm I'm in a loop. I might be stuck in a loop. All too easy. So if I go over here and I press space. Yep, I'm stuck in a loop. <laughs> seize the initiative, seize the initiative, seize the initiative. <sighs> They said in the patch notes that this was fixed. It is not fixed. It is most definitely not fixed. So it's a good thing I quick saved before I, I went for that thingy. They did mention that this was triggered specifically by having two officers while one was in the ship. And given that we, we sent Cassia back, I'm guessing Look that's the reason. No now, I'm going to wait for this to come back. Now, the question is, are these guys going to get shocked as well? I won't heed your cries okay, so you've been ambushed. I will take you down. Extra turn. I'll pass. Okay, so same deal, but on this it. time on Abelard. No can do. Okay, go over here. My tactics are flawless. Oh, come on, game. <sighs> I I think I'm I'm going to be forced to <sighs> to go and pick up Cassia. And swap someone out for Cassia. Man, this sucks so much. I'm gonna try and see if if I don't give somebody an extra turn. If this doesn't happen. Your is so Abelard... Uh, uh, actually, wait for the lightning. I really forgot. Because I imagine going in here is instant trauma. That's my guess. Take a knee! Okay, so start the battle. I'm not gonna give anybody an extra turn. I will simply do something like buffing Abelard here. Nothing I can't do. Oh god damn it man. <sighs> okay, um I'm not gonna make you guys suffer through this. I am going to go back to the ship. Or sorry, I'm gonna pause the video. I'm gonna go back to the ship. I'm going to bring Cassia with me instead of somebody else. And see if having them both in my party will fix this problem. If not... If not, I can't continue. And this episode will probably not be uploaded. <laughs> I will have to start anew once this is fixed. Uh, I will be right back, my friends. Pray for me. Okay, my friends, I am back. So it pains me greatly, but I took Edida out of my party. I'm I really annoyed that the game is forcing service. me to do this. Um, I haven't tried this yet. We're going to try it first hand here. See if this also bugs out. Okay, so she has her extra turn from Seize the Initiative. So I will simply do like Step aside. this on Avalar. If I may. Uh, there's something I've also been meaning to try. Might as well try it now. So he has air of authority. This gives him extra resolve. Uh, 
I've been thinking if casting multiple times out of authority, if it's gonna stack the result they get, I, I doubt it. But I wanna test it regardless. So, I will quite simply do something like uh, take aim on Argenta. Let's see how they respond to this. And he had 11. Not a problem for me. So if I go again... Okay, he still ha has 11. Nothing changed there. The other thing I wanted to uh, take note of, but I kind of forgot if I actually did this or not, is a talent... Ah, I didn't pick it up yet. Okay. Well, this is the time. Pass. Yep. Having both of them in my party screws everything up. Wonderful. So, I am going to make her a little bit vulnerable. No, I'll just leave her like this. She still has heavy cover here and the game sometimes thinks that this is behind every cover. So, I will just take it and accept it and what I'm gonna do is I am going to use concentrated fire I will bathe this battlefield in righteous fury now we go for burst fire that is for the weak Ooh, nice woman nice and I will just entrench to give her some more defenses here. As the Emperor commands, I act. There you go. What is 12 it? damage. Damn. So you see, if I had Idira here, he wouldn't be taking 12 damage each time and I would be able to heal him. Uh, it upsets me so much, man. I swear, it upsets me so much. <laughs> Ugh. Okay. Heinrichs. I am going to give you 28 more willpower because he has a heal that scales with willpower. Isn't this a job for the serfs? I'm going to give you voice of command. I'm not accustomed to being ordered around. And now what I was thinking about was I would like to bring her here and do this. My issue with that is that if this thing starts shooting lightning, I will suffer. Yeah. But I don't really care. I'm kind of upset by what happened, so... I, have read I will go a little bit reckless here. Tactics. And if I wasn't upset enough... All creatures within the area of effect, unlimited range, lie. This apparently gets fully blocked by cover. <laughs> okay. Whatever, man. Of course. Okay, so now she has a fresh injury. This guy can heal himself with the med kit, so I'm actually going to do this on her. Uh, let me think. So I have Word of the Emperor. Come on, you don't show me the, the area if I'm over there. <laughs> it's like, could, can, somebody, the can something is work? Side. Just something. And apparently the slope makes it so that this doesn't go up. Man, this goes from bad to worse. Okay, well, first things first. I'm gonna do this. Oh, never mind. I have to actually... Okay. Well, I'm gonna shut up now. For the do this. Glory. Everybody has Word of the Emperor. This will heal people... No, it will increase their deflection and armor, but it doesn't heal. So I'm gonna try and heal. Yeah, I'm not even gonna be able to, to remove her, her, um, her injury. Which sucks very much. I won't object to it. But, okay. 
And I will also yeah, cast Shield of the Emperor so that everybody has the extra deflection. Does it work? Shield of the Emperor. Okay, it works. Thank the Lordy. Now, Abelard. Let's get Brace for Impact. We're gonna come over here. I'm not worried about... Um, oh no, this only removes... This only removes fresh injuries, right? Not old injuries. Yeah, fresh injuries. And this costs 2 AP, but I have 6 action points. Yeah, I, I, I'm always confused by this. I will quite simply accept it. So what I want is I want to charge over there. Kill that guy and then hit this guy. My place is at the fall. He's dead. Before I forget, I'm gonna heal. You medicine at its finest. And this can't actually do much, so let's just hit him. It will be done. And do endure. Pass the turn. This guy is accurate. What am I thinking here? I'm thinking about... I don't think this makes much of a difference. I mean, it might. Okay, so I would like to come over here and then buff my people. Okay. Okay. Now I'm gonna give this guy exploits, he has 5, and we are going to use tactical knowledge to get some armor and bonus damage. I'm prioritizing buffs instead of just shooting him. What I'm also wondering is when is this thing going to pop? Okay, I also want to test something else, because I forgot to test it in the last episode, which is... Um, you go on. The Noble Servant gains plus two movement points every turn. So what I want to test is, I want to make Argenta my servant. Suits my purposes. And I want to give her All an extra turn and see if she gets movement points on the extra turn. That's what I want. Nothing I can't do. She does not. So I'm not sure if it's bugged or if it's just not supposed to work on on extra turns. It's it's a coin flip, basically. Okay, so let's use some of our action points for it. something that's gonna be useful. So we do that, concentrate fire, we shoot this guy in the face. 15 damage. This is once per combat. I will test it out. It says 5% chance deals 13 to 23 damage. Eh, sure. Faith without deeds is worthless. Okay, I. I have no idea what happened. Did it even go off? There's no hit roll. <laughs> so I don't even know if it went off. Okay. Shoot him. Him. Okay. She's gonna have a fresh... What did I do? Oh, I pressed... I pressed 3 instead of E. <laughs> Ooh, this is on. So I'm not gonna be moving on here. Uh, if I move here... Does it change anything? I become out of cover. There's no lightning here, but I'm not sure if this is gonna count as lightning damage or not. Well, again, this is a learning experience, so I am gonna try it. I will move over here. It's, nothing. it's counting as being under fire. Awesome. Doubt 
Justice for the weak. This is why I was chosen. Well, but now I'm kind of committed, so. I'll do it. My faith shields me. Low momentum. This is so bad. Yeah, what did you get? Trauma already. Crippled leg. Awesome. Okay. Faith without deeds is worthless. Dead. Sure. And his will made manifest. Fire our mastery. Let's do some more damage here. I'll do it. This guy is trying to turn into a cultist. That is for the weak. I might actually kind of uh, well no. I'll do it. She already has trauma. I was thinking about using the med kit to heal it up, but it's not gonna work. Faith without deeds is worthless. He's dead. I have one more shot. Might as well just hurt this guy here. You, my emperor. Okay. Concentrate fire and entrench. Doubt is for the weak. Should have done this, but I don't think it matters too much here. Emperor, deliver us. Okay, dude. That's cool. This is still a fresh injury. I might be able to. No, 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 no. I would not be able to fully heal it, so it doesn't matter. Okay. So what am I doing? I might take lightning damage, but I, it's not even clear to me if it's gonna take lightning damage or not. But I will, I will assume that I will take lightning damage, so might as well just stay still. Buff up. 54%, 57%. Isn't this a job for the serfs? Okay. Me. If you insist, Lord Captain. I need your aegis, O oh, Emperor. Mm-hmm. Let's see to it. But of course, Lord Captain. Heal it up a little bit. I can't really move because Mighty of the lightning. Okay, let's go over here. Yeah, now I only have four. <laughs> um, okay. Tried and tested tactics are the best ones. Dodged, naturally. But I think I want to start pressuring the people back here. I will do my duty. So endure and charge that guy. It will be done. Mm-hmm. And you can even go over here. <laughs> I've seen worse battles than this in my time. Mr. Pascal. <clears throat> Running by now. Analyze enemies. And I think I can go for a precise attack to test this out. The knows all. And... So one shot would just straight up kill him. Okay. What? Oh, there was cover in the... I didn't see the cover, I'll be honest. What am I doing here? Suits my purposes. Okay. Let's see if we manage to not hit Abelard. That would be cool. Do you have concentrated fire? Yes, you do. 
so just burst and uh, uh, there is an angle that works like this I know there's over penetration dude shut up I'll do it I would like to move, but... My soul yeah, she, she still took like lightning fire. damage there. Not a problem for me. Okay, now it went this way. Single fire. God Emperor, move through me. Be the fire in my heart. It hit cover, that's why that happened. The, commands, the low damage, I, I mean. Ah, this was from okay, I think we got points because we used run and gun from having entrench before. Faith without deeds is worthless. Entrench? Alright. Cassia is playing. Uh, this guy is bugged out. Can I shut you up? I am a Nazi. Thank you. I'm not accustomed to being ordered around. Just give her an extra turn. Um or him. Isn't this a job for the serfs? Okay, it's actually quite good. Because now I can charge this guy. At your beck and <laughs> I forgot I had more. One few attacked. Pretty cool. You mind, bitch? Oh, I have a desperate measure. Four von Valencius. Follow okay, my see knee. how you like this. It will be done. Ah. That's not the central. <sighs> Wait, there's one missing? Oh, there's that guy in the. <laughs> I forgot. My place is at the fall. Sworn enemy, he already has endure, so just shoot him Victory or try to shoot him. Not my Fine. Way. You yes. can just pass the turn. This will not change much, but I won't object to it. Heal. And just stand here. There we go. I actually forgot how low on HP this guy was. And I don't have charge anymore. Wonderful. And I cannot move. Reduced by 3. Yo. I didn't have 3 movement points. I had more. So what's the deal here? Indeed. Just usual bullcrap, right? Mm -hmm. I will do my duty. And wait, what? Can no longer use attacking abilities on current turn. Yet I can. <clears throat> I will just never understand it. I'll revert to more conservative. Can I? I actually can. Okay. okay. We hit cover more than anything else. Yeah, 
just at your back and forth. Okay, well we're hitting. Victory is imminent. I'd rather not. I forgot about the will damage taken. Ugh. Not like this. Now this is what? unacceptable. What? Oh, the thing changed. The enemies of the Emperor will be undone. What can I say about this fight? It's fun. Very fun. I can't use Entrench. Maybe because I use it in my bonus action. I'm guessing that's why. If I may. Nope. Uh, let's see to it. Yeah, we, we can't reach with anything. It's way too far. Yep, just pass. And I'm gonna try and shoot him again with my sniper rifle. Okay, I think we broke part of the cover at least. Me, if you insist, Lord Countess. Uh, can this be over, Guided please? Come faith. on. Concentrate <laughs> fire. Am I hitting this guy? I don't think so. I'll do it. Okay, finally, this is over. I'm not injured. Oh. <laughs> I'm of I don't care. You guys can die no, all you want. All Doesn't you matter. Sniper rifle. I can just go to the ship and heal up, but honestly, this is the kind of stuff that makes me not want to play the game anymore. I just wanted my party, dude. Okay, we're gonna go back. Tray awaits. From the ashes. Yes, I yes. Will rise. This is just too much for me. It's just a flesh wound. I'll lay claim to the stars. Tis but a flesh wound. Okay, my friends, you know what? This episode is going to end right now. Um, it's a mess of an episode. I was not in the best state of mind to play it, but I am going to publish it because I think it's... I think it's important for people to see how this game came out. A new challenge for me? There's already numerous examples in my previous episodes of why this game is completely messed up, bug-wise. It's really a shame because I think that the setting is awesome, the story is being very interesting. There's, there's a lot going for the game, but then stuff like this, it, it, it drains me, you know? It drains me of the will to continue playing this game. None shall stand in my And like, way. if if I have to continue playing with this setup, because I can't leave an officer on the ship, or the game will basically soft lock, I'm not sure if I'm going to continue. I'm really not. Follow my lead. For right now, I'll. Well, we'll see. I can't guarantee that that I will continue this. And I was so happy because I was starting to feel that I'm I'm actually recording this episode outside my normal, you know, schedule during the day because I was excited to play it 
uh, since we picked up some new abilities. We had Idira with some healing capabilities, which was awesome, you know. And I could play around with some new things. And, and then this happens and I just... Ugh. Okay, well, I'm not going to rant anymore. I will finish this episode here, my friends. Um, as always, I want to thank you all for being here with me on the channel, watching this mess of a game called Rogue Trader. Um, I will let you guys know in the community post if I decide to not continue this playthrough right now. Um, it, it depends on if a new patch comes out and they fix stuff, or it, or if I have the the motivation tomorrow because tonight I'm just not feeling it. Um, tomorrow to play some more but I, I will let you guys know uh, in any case this is it uh, as always if you have any questions suggestions anything like that if you want to discuss bugs that you found yourself feel free to leave a comment if you are enjoying the content i'm not really sure how you could be but if you are <laughs> consider subscribing for more many more videos coming out soon be it this game or another game um but yeah i hope to see you all in the next episode and until then stay safe everyone